Hey all YouTube fans, I'm going to be going over today how to go through the MyTouch 4G route on version 2.3.4. First of all, we're going to go ahead and we need to downgrade the device using ADB. Then we need to go ahead and route it. I'll be going over a couple guides that will allow us to go through all this. All the links will be at the bottom of the page. First start off, we're just going to run an ADB command prompt right now as you see. You know, I got the XDA form site up and running right there just to show everybody how to get it done. Right now, I am gonna, I've already completed the test to see if ADB Cat will run. It's gonna run just fine. You know, as you see here, you know, it's, I'm not gonna go over all the steps. You just see how to do it. We're gonna follow all the steps page by page by page just to make sure everybody can go through it. And each video is gonna be its own separate thing to show people how to get it done. All right, guys, stay tuned. What you're gonna want to start by going into is typing in ADB push. You know, you see it right there. I have it highlighted. After that, you should just see C directory, as you can see right here, coming up normal SDK, blase blase, wherever you have it. And then you're gonna type in ADB shell. It should con should change from C directory to dollar sign. If it did not change for dollar sign, please check to make sure you have it going right. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this here. Chime on, edit, paste, boom, it just came back and gave me another dollar sign again, which is proper, and then all I'm going to do is copy and paste this, you should get a long string after that, edit, paste, boom, scanning, Alright, potential exploit area found at address, perfect, that's what we want. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just type in after you see exploiting device, make sure it came through correctly. It should say potential exploit area found at a certain address. If it does not say that, then you can go ahead and track some of these extra options that they give you on XDA just to see if it goes through. You know, if it doesn't, sorry I'm not going over that this time. After that, you should see, you know, C directories, anything like that. You can type in ADB shell. You should get a number sign, not a dollar sign. If you get a number sign, you are good to go and you are temporary. After you type in the ADB shell and you get the number sign, just type in exit. Exit out of ADB shell because you really don't need to be in there now. Now, after that, we're going to want to go ahead and change version number to allow the downgrading. All you want to do is copy and paste each line of code. Make sure you don't copy too far. I'm trying to make this guide as easily as possible for people to make it. Boom. That changed the directory. Just copy and paste this. Sorry guys if this video is not like perfect perfect. This is probably one of my newer ones. I know I could just type in ADB shell, but I'm holding the camera. Nice, you see how it transformed over. As you can see right here, you want it to change from slashes to go ahead and number sign. Boom, boom, boom. Now you want to make sure it says set underscore version set dot version will be changed to, and then patching backup files partition. Enter. Set. See, there we go. Welcome back, guys. I'm going to be going over downgrading the MyTouch 4G on 2.3.4 so we can allow for routing use. We're going to go to the XDA developer's website and we're going to go ahead and download this file. It's going to be for the MyTouch 4G PD15 image.zip. If you, this will also work on both the G2 Desire and Desire HD, but I'm not going over those today. You know, we're going to do the manual downgrade, so this way it makes you know my life a little bit easier and to make sure that it actually goes through 100%. What you're going to want to do is download the file available right here, mytouch 4 pd 15 imagezip I know I'm saying this again. For the manual downgrade version, you're going to place the zip file on the root of the SD card. You're going to reboot the phone into bootloader. All you have to do is type this in, adb reboot bootloader. 
which should be able to work just fine for you. Edit, paste. Alright, the phone is being put into bootloader mode. See right here. And you see the MyHTC. All you're going to do is press the power button on here. All right, the phone's actually functioning on its own. Damn, can't even show you guys. But basically, what it's going to do, it's going to run through a very small process to checking all the files and loading them, which usually works just fine right then and there. After I reboot my phone, it should be downgraded fully. All right. So I will be back, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm just going to be able to post some links at the bottom of the page for you guys all to have to be able to walk through all the instructions. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You've watched, you've been watching Nate at quick-unlock.com. Thank you and have a great day.